April, uh, the last time I posted a, a YouTube video. So if anybody happened to watch that, uh, I simply said that I was about to get married. So I did. I got married at the end of April and then I went on honeymoon and then I've sort of taken a brief break from uh, YouTube videos. So it's now already November and I uh, figured it's time to come back and uh, let's drink some beer. So um, I was sent a bottle of uh, collaboration beer. It's a um, collaboration between Guinness, uh, I'm in Dublin, so Guinness Brewery is here, and Timmermans. Now Timmermans is the, I believe, oldest uh, Lambic brewery in the world. Um, so, yep, it says it on the bottle, the world's oldest Lambic brewery. So here it is, it is Lambic and Stout, uh, collaboration between Guinness and Timmermans. So it's 6%, uh, 750 ml bottle. And what else have we got? There's calories and stuff on there, nobody cares. Uh, although if you do care, per 100 ml, there's 62 calories. It's a 750 ml bottle. Somebody else can work that one out. Yeah, bullshit. Uh, oh, mentions the beers. Okay, so it's a blend of three beers. So it's a blend of uh, Guinness Original, Guinness Special Export, and Tyrone's Oud Creek. That's what it says on the bottle. I think it says something quite something different on the Tyrone's website. So Guinness Original Porter on here. 1769 however the actual beer that they've used is because that doesn't exist anymore uh guinness west indies porter yep that's what it says on the chairman's website so guinness west indies porter uh guinness special export and guinness special is the one that's brewed in belgium for the belgian market um and then timmermans Oud creek according to the timmermans website there were only 1,500 bottles available. There's only 1,499 now. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not even sure how many of these you can actually buy or where you can buy them. I, I reckon you can get them in some of places in Ireland and probably Belgium. Uh, but if there are only 1,000, if there are only 1,500 bottles, you're gonna have a hard time finding it. Um, so it's a blended beer, three beers, two stouts, one lambic. Let's crack it open and see what it's like. Right, more fish. And now let's hope this does not explode all over my equipment. Nice pop, very satisfying. Uh, they sent me a Tierman's glass. It's not going to be particularly uh, useful for me for, for pouring beer, but let's pour it in just for the sake of this. Okay, bit of chocolate, bit of oak. That's quite nice. So there is a sharp acidity, uh, as you might expect with the lambic added in. Works really well. So for the sake of completeness, uh, I'm not sure how good this glass is in terms Aroma and it's certainly way too small for my, for my liking. So I'm gonna pop this into another glass. Since we're on a Belgian thing here, I'm gonna go with Bryce and Joop. Or is it Bryce and Joop? I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm gonna pour it in here. this glass I'm getting a lot more of the sweet chocolate notes, um, a bit less of the, the cherry. What a difference a changing glass makes. But, you know, funny enough, in the larger glass it tastes a little bit more balanced, less acidity and you know, more of the, the sweetness and the malt is coming through. That could be my imagination or it could just be simply that the uh, narrower opening in this glass uh, just allows for different aromas and uh, flavors to come through. I think it'd be a shame if there was only 1,500 bottles of this available. Presumably they're going to make more. 
again. Lambic and Stout collaboration between Timmermans and Guinness.